Hi guys, it's Simon here, and uh, this tutorial is the first in a series of tutorials on uh, how to uh, customize your blogger template so that you um, uh, create a blog to uh, play around with. And um, just check availability. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, now uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to customize it off a, a minima template. I, I like the minima templates because they're, uh, you know, they're quite simple to begin with. So it's quite easy to play around with it and move things around. And my internet just died. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, the work that we're going to, everything that we're going to be doing is basically here in the layout. You go to layout and edit HTML. And uh, let's. Uh, see what the blog looks like. Okay, there we go. That's our blog. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to resize it, make everything a bit wider. Um, I like the sidebar that size, so we're not going to touch that. We're just going to make the posts a bit wider, and obviously the header will have to be a bit wider too, so you know, we'll get rid of some of this, this white space. Um, okay, so now the way I like to do it is uh, Firefox has this really nice plugin called Firebug, which um, I'll put a link up to it um, along with this video. With that plugin, I can basically um, test things out in the browser itself and see how it would look if I change settings around and whatnot, um, you know, without actually having to save it and make a mess of things. Okay, so this is basically where we're going to be doing most of the work here in the body. This is your your HTML here in the body. And uh, as you can see, everything in the template is divided up by tags. These are called divs. They're like little boxes. So you can see the nav bar div. That's that up there. And you have the outer wrapper. The outer wrapper is uh, the main blog itself, which is what we want to we want to make that wider. And then within the outer wrapper, we have um, wrap two, which is I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I don't know why they have two wraps, but anyway, wrap two, and then <coughs> within that, you have your header wrapper, which we're gonna have to make that wide as well. And you have your content wrapper, and um, and your footer, and then within your content, uh, I see. Okay, within your content, then you have your main wrapper, which is your posts and then your sidebar. So we're basically going to be editing your header, your outer wrapper, your main wrapper, and the footer. Okay, so let's just let's just try things out in here first. Uh, you can see here on this side you have the, the actual CSS. Now if you don't know what CSS is, uh, that's fine. Just basically think of it as like properties. So a div is like a box, and the CSS is what holds all the properties of that box. Okay, so we're here in the outer wrapper, and uh, basically what we want to do is we want to make that wider. So we want to come here to the width. There's the width, and let's try. Let's make it 950 pixels. So as you can see right away, it's made the whole thing a bit wider, but it, it looks funny still because the header is still, you know, not not the size we want it. All this stuff here as well. So now, the next thing is we'll let's change the header. <coughs> Let me come here to the header tag, and where is it? Okay, here header wrapper. Let's change that as well. 950 pixels. You see here header wrapper, header wrapper. That's how you're gonna know what's what when we actually go and edit the HTML. Okay, so that's the header. Now the content wrapper. I think the content wrapper automatically, um, yeah, it automatically resizes itself. See here, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's automatically resizing itself based on the size of the outer wrapper. So within the content wrapper, we got to change the main wrapper. So the main wrapper. We're basically going to make that um, the 950 pixels minus the size of the sidebar. So let's just see here. The sidebar is 
220 pixels. So let me get out my calculator. <clears throat> so that would be 950 minus 220. That gives us 730. So for the main wrapper here, we're going to give it 730 pixels. And there we go. That's the main wrapper. And then. Lastly, we're not going to touch the sidebar because I'm, I'm happy with the size of the sidebar. But I will oh the footer. Okay, we don't have to change the footer either because that um, that obviously is you know it's set to resize itself depending on the size of the outer wrapper. Oh, except for the actual uh, the actual footer itself. Okay, okay. So there's the the footer wrapper is fine, but we're gonna we are gonna change the size of the footer so let's come here footer let's also make that 950 okay see so that's basically what we want it to look like now we're gonna basically do what we did here we're gonna do it in the main uh, in the actual template itself okay so the first thing we're gonna change is the outer wrapper outer wrapper here we go we're gonna change that to 950 950, right there, 950 pixels, and the main wrapper, the main wrapper is, um, the main wrapper was where we had, uh, uh, is where the content is, so we're going to change that as well to, we had it at 730. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a bit of a cold, so I have to excuse that. Okay, so the main wrapper. Now let's change the header. Header wrapper, header wrapper. Here we go. It's also 950. And then lastly, let's change the footer. Make that 950 also. See, this is this is basically oh, here we go the footer. All this code that you're seeing here is is the CSS. It's basically like the properties of the different boxes. So everything is contained in a box. See here, here's the actual code. It's contained in a box, and then the ID. Then you go see the outer wrapper. Then the properties are in the CSS. So it's actually quite simple once you uh, <coughs> you know once you know what you're doing, but. Yeah, if, if you're a beginner, then just try to copy what I'm doing exactly. Okay, so that's uh, that's it. I think that's everything. Let's see if it works. Okay. Now, the stuff that we changed here doesn't actually stay that way. If I refresh the browser without having saved over here, then everything would have gone back to how it was before. But because we saved over here now, now it's actually saved as well, so we can close our firebug here. Such a great plugin. And there you have it. Looks good. Let's try and uh, make a post just to see if. Uh, uh, see if everything works properly. Let me just uh, let's see here. Let me just copy. Uh, this I'll just copy one of my posts off my blog. Uh, okay. <coughs> Publish post. That's it. Yeah, it looks looks pretty good. This uh, we could obviously tweak this a bit more. You know, it's kind of hugging the the sidebar there. That's just a matter of putting a bit of padding and whatnot. But I'll leave that for another tutorial. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Next time we'll I'll show you how you can uh, put a proper header here. 
make things look a bit better.